A sixth-generation jet fighter is a conceptualized class of fighter aircraft design more advanced than the fifth-generation jet fighters that are currently in development. Several countries have announced the development of a sixth-generation aircraft program, including the United States, China, United Kingdom, Russia, Japan, Germany, and France. The United States Air Force USAF and United States Navy USN are anticipated to field their first sixth-generation fighters in the 2025-30 time frame. The USAF is pursuing development and acquisition of a sixth-generation fighter through the penetrating counter-air to replace its existing air superiority aircraft such as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and complement existing platforms in service such as the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The USN is pursuing a similar program called the Next Generation Air Dominance, likewise intended to complement smaller Lockheed F-35 and replace its existing aircraft such as the Boeing F-A-18E, F-Super Hornet. However, with very little reporting on progress on sixth-generation fighters, the slippage being reported in production of variants of the fifth-generation fighters like the F-35, and timelines for aircraft in development like the F-AXX program being delayed a 2030-2035 time frame for fielding sixth-generation fighters is more realistic. Topic. France, Germany and Spain France has abandoned any attempt to develop an indigenous fifth-generation fighter and has moved resources directly to development of a sixth-generation fighter aircraft. In July 2017 France and Germany announced they would jointly develop a new combat European new generation aircraft to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon, Panavia Tornado and Dassault Rafale fighters. The German Air Force, in partnership with Airbus Defence and Space, are in the initial stages of developing a new sixth-generation fighter fighter. Sharing the same name as an earlier British UCAV project, the German Future Combat Air System FCAS is a separate program, expected to be operational in the 2030-2040s. Little is currently known about the project, other than it will likely be a twin-seat system of systems aircraft acting as a combat platform as well as controlling UCAVs Spain announced in December 2018 that it will join the project topic Japan in 2010 the Japanese Ministry of Defense exposed the concept of sixth generation national product jet fighter this would be based on the I-3 concepts of an aircraft that was informed, intelligent and instantaneous. On March 22, 2016, Japan conducted the first flight of the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin testbed aircraft for this project. Topic. Russia On 26 August 2013, Russia revealed it would proceed with development of a sixth-generation jet fighter. They say the aircraft will most likely be pilotless. However, they would not skip completing development of fifth-generation fighter projects, like the Suhoi Su-57. The Mikoyan MiG-41 is a sixth-generation jet fighter interceptor aircraft currently being developed by Mikoyan. The project starts in 2019, and if purchased by the Russian Air Force, the first production of MiG-41 could be completed in 2025, to enter service after 2027. Topic. United Kingdom In July 2014, Jane's Information Group reported that a House of Commons Defence Select Committee had published a report about the UK's future post-2030 combat aviation force structure. 
The report highlighted a possibility of the UK committing to a next-generation fighter programme to potentially replace the Eurofighter Typhoon Post-2030. The Eurofighter Typhoon has since had its intended service life extended to around 2040. In July 2018, British Secretary of State for Defence Gavin Williamson unveiled the UK's combat air strategy and announced the development of a sixth-generation fighter concept named the Tempest for the Royal Air Force at Farnborough Air Show 2018. Topic: United States of America. Topic: History. On October 10, 2012, Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Frank Kendall justified the need to start the program. In April 2013, DARPA started a study to try to bridge the USAF and USN concepts. The Pentagon 2015 budget request has studies to lead to an acquisition program in fiscal year 2018. Frank Kendall revealed that funding for initial sixth generation fighter development would be requested in the FY2016. 16 budget. Next generation fighter efforts will initially be led by DARPA under the Air Dominance Initiative to develop prototype X planes. The agency as well as industry are known to have started internal research on potential sixth generation technologies for several years. Kendall confirmed that Navy and Air Force will each have variants focused on their mission requirements. In 2016, the USAF announced a change of course to pursue a network of integrated systems disaggregated across multiple platforms rather than a sixth generation fighter in its Air Superiority 2030 plan. Topic Design concepts Dubbed the Next Generation Tactical Aircraft Next Gen TACAIR The USAF seeks a fighter with Enhanced capabilities in areas such as reach, persistence, survivability, net centricity, situational awareness, human system integration and weapons effects a November 4, 2010 pre-solicitation notice states, The future system will have to counter adversaries equipped with next-generation advanced electronic attack, sophisticated integrated air defense systems, passive detection, integrated self-protection, directed energy weapons, and cyber attack capabilities. It must be able to operate in the anti-access, area denial environment that will exist in the 2030-50 timeframe. The sixth-generation fighters are expected to use advanced engines such as adaptive versatile engine technology to allow longer ranges and higher performance. Risk reduction began in 2012 so that engine development can start around 2020. An engine is to be ready when fighters are introduced by the Navy in 2028 and the Air Force in 2032. USAF General Mike Hostage has said that they have yet to decide on which features will define the sixth generation fighters. In November 2013, the Air Force Research Laboratory released a request for information RFI for a laser weapon that could be mounted on next generation air dominance fighters by the 2030s. The Air Force is interested in three categories of lasers, low power for illuminating, tracking, targeting, and defeating enemy sensors, moderate power for protection to destroy incoming missiles, and high power to offensively engage enemy aircraft and ground targets. The laser and systems controls are to work at altitudes from sea level to 65,000 feet at speeds from Mach 0.6 to Mach 2.5. Laser submissions are to be at technology readiness level 4. Basic components work in a lab by October 2014, and the Air Force wants a system to be at technology readiness level 5. System components work in a simulated environment or higher by 2022. The RFI requests submissions with detailed descriptions in a militarily useful configuration, potential problems and solutions, and cost estimates. The RAND Corporation has recommended that the U.S. military services avoid joint programs for the development of the design of a sixth generation fighter. 
Studies by RAND have found that in previous joint programs, different service-specific requirements for complex programs have led to design compromises that raise costs far more than normal single-service programs. In a comparison between four recent joint service programs F-35, Joint Strike Fighter, T-6A Texan II Joint Primary Aircraft Training System, E-8JSTARS, V-22 Osprey, and four recent single service programs C-17 Globemaster III, F-A-18E, F Super Hornet, F-22 Raptor, T-45 Goshawk, costs for joint programs rose 65% nine years after a milestone B decision decision to move into engineering and manufacturing development compared to 24% for independent programs during the same time span engine development for sixth generation fighters is already underway to be more efficient in making jets faster and giving them a longer range while current engines operate best at a single point in the flight envelope newer engines could vary their bypass ratios for optimum efficiency at any speed or altitude that would give an aircraft a much greater range, faster acceleration, and greater subsonic cruise efficiency. A variable cycle engine could configure itself to act like a turbojet at supersonic speeds, while performing like a high bypass turbofan for efficient cruising at slower speeds. The ability to supercruise may not be a critical requirement, but it will likely be able to with this engine type. One critical component is the adaptive fan to allow the engine to vary its bypass ratio depending on altitude and speed with a third stream of air to increase or decrease the bypass ratio. A low bypass configuration would be used for takeoffs and supersonic flight, and a high bypass configuration would have high propulsive efficiency for cruising. The U.S. Navy and Air Force have different sixth-generation fighter development programs, but both services are working together on engine development. The Air Force is aiming for a milestone a decision by 2018, with a production version to be ready possibly by 2021. Companies involved with next generation engine development include General Electric and Pratt and Whitney. On the 30th of July 2014, General Mike Hostage spoke about the evolving nature of proposed sixth generation fighter requirements at an event hosted by the Air Force Association (AFA). Since Air Combat Command released a request for information RFI in 2009 for industry feedback on sixth-generation air dominance technologies, teams thinking of requirements have been told not to think in terms of a platform like a single-seat fighter with a certain number of engines. Hostage remarked that if next-generation air dominance capabilities came from pressing a single button on a keyboard that makes all our adversaries fall to the ground, it would be acceptable. Concepts from the Air Force and industry have so far revolved around supersonic tailless aircraft. One of the key limitations in relying on a single platform is they have a limited weapons load, so the original RFI sought ground-based and non-kinetic solutions, with whatever sixth-generation technology being required to have a larger magazine than current fighter solutions. There are significant differences between Navy and Air Force visions for their respective next-generation jet concepts, but both agree on some fundamental characteristic aspects they will share. American sixth-generation fighters are to feature artificial intelligence as a decision aid to the pilot, similar in concept to how advanced sensor fusion is used by the F-22 and F-35. They will also have positioning, navigation, and timing PNT, and communications that allow big data movement between both services aircraft. Air Force General Herbert Carlyle said in February 2015 that stealth is incredibly important for their next generation FX fighter. This contrasts with statements made by Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Jonathan Greenert that their F.A.X.X fighter might not be so focused on survivability as to sacrifice speed and payload. Unlike the previous F-22 and F-35 development programs that depended on new technologies that drove up cost and delayed introduction, the Air Force is intending to follow a methodical path of risk reduction to include as much prototyping, technology demonstration, and systems engineering work as possible before creation of an aircraft actually starts. 
Carlyle describes the sixth-generation strike capability not as just an aircraft, but a system of systems including communications, space capabilities, standoff, and stand-in options. In March 2015, the Navy revealed they were working with the Air Force to potentially release Joint Analysis of Alternatives in 2016 for their next-generation fighters. They are allowed to take a joint AWA, then define a service solution that would be good for each service. The Navy is focusing on replacing the capabilities of the fighter with a wide range of options for the Super Hornet, as well as the EA-18G Growler. The AWA will run parallel to several other design and technology efforts including engine technology, airframe molds, broadband and IR stealth, and new ways to dominate the electromagnetic spectrum. Part of the Navy's calculus will be based on how the F-35C performs as a critical forward sensor node for the carrier air wing. How the fifth-generation F-35C integrates with the rest of the air wing to give greater capabilities than what the platform itself can do may lend itself to the sixth-generation F-AXX. The Navy aircraft is to have greatly increased speed and range compared to the Super Hornet. In April 2015, the Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments (CSBA) released a report concluding that the next-generation U.S. Air Force fighter should be larger and more resembling a bomber than a small, maneuverable traditional fighter. It analyzed over 1,450 air-to-air engagements since 1965 and found that long-range weapons and sensors have dramatically decreased instances of dogfighting. With the increase of air defense systems using electronic and infrared sensors and high-speed weapons, traditional designs relying on small size, high speed, and maneuverability may be less relevant and easier to intercept. As a result, the CSBA suggests building a fighter significantly larger relying on enhanced sensors, signature control, network situational awareness, and very long-range weapons to complete engagements before being detected or tracked. Larger planes would have greater range that would enable them to be stationed further from a combat zone, have greater radar and IR detection capabilities, and carry bigger and longer-range missiles long-range engagement weapon. One airframe could be fitted with various attachments to fill several roles. The concept of a small number of large, intercontinental and heavily armed combat aircraft could link itself to the development of the long-range strike bomber. In November 2016 the USAF Scientific Advisory Board announced studies for a penetrating counter-air platform that would combine long-range, supersonic speed, stealth and maneuverability and be fielded by 2030. PCA would have substantially longer range to fly long distances over the Pacific, especially in a situation where airbases in the vicinity of China are not available or if aerial tankers are destroyed. It would also escort bombers deep into Russia or China, where the anticipated threat includes advanced networked air defense radars. It would include stealth against low or very high frequency radars like those of the S-400 missile system, which requires an airframe with no vertical stabilizers. Another requirement is significantly larger payload than current air superiority aircraft like the F-22. Adaptive cycle engine technology is an option under consideration for the PCA, given the fact that the alternative would be a very large aircraft. Topic. Examples In September 2011, Boeing unveiled a sixth-generation fighter concept for the U.S. Navy and Air Force. It is planned to have supercruise and fly faster and farther than the F-35 Lightning II. Boeing is self-funding the project until an official fighter program starts to have a design ready. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division has revealed a conceptual next-generation fighter design that offers the first hints of an ambitious, long-term technology strategy for the new class of tactical aircraft that will emerge after 2030. The concept was published in a 2012 calendar, which was distributed to journalists. Lockheed Martin has called for greater speed, range, stealth and self-healing structures. In January 2015, Northrop Grumman revealed it had stood up teams dedicated to developing a sixth-generation fighter and that it would compete for the next fighter. 
Individual teams were created to focus on the specific separate requirements for the Navy and Air Force. The company indicates it is looking at a supersonic tailless jet, something never created before due to complexity. It may also be optionally manned. Topic. China China has reportedly begun sixth-generation fighter development, and has made important breakthroughs in designing and developing several key components, including next-generation engine. China planned to field it in the 2025-2030 time frame. Topic. Proposed sixth-generation aircraft Russia – Mikoyan MiG-41 United Kingdom – Tempest United States Navy – Boeing F – AXX United States Air Force – FX China – JXX program France – Germany – Spain – New Generation Fighter Japan TRDI I-3 fighter or Mitsubishi F-3, based on technology developed for the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinchan. Topic. See also Air superiority fighter Fighter aircraft Fifth generation jet fighter